Hey you guys, welcome to my channel, Triple Moon Oracle. Good to see you guys. This is your bonus reading for the week, Taurus. Congratulations, you guys made it. Um, at the last minute, Scorpio kind of beat you guys by like two views, but I already said that you guys won the bonus reading, so that's what we're going with, okay? But you guys have been um, killing it as far as views and subscriptions and stuff lately, so... Super appreciate you guys. Thank you for always tuning in, supporting my channel, and me as a tarot card reader. Super appreciate it. Um, as far as any information you need to know about me is in the description box, okay? If you want to schedule a reading or join my Patreon for more extended content, discounts on personal readings and things like that, that's all in the description box. My decks that I use and um, my social media and all of that, okay? So we're going to be doing like a you versus them type of reading. Um, I'm not going to label who's who. Um, I'll probably get a good idea of who's who, but you're the, you're the person that gets to determine who's who. Okay. If you, whichever side you identify with is what your side is. All right. So first of all, um, let's start out with Also, I'd love to say, if you're new to my channel um, and you dig my readings, please subscribe to the channel. I would love that. Also, um, hit that like button. It helps circulate my video. It's just a free way to help the channel, okay? Also, leave me a comment. Let me know how this resonates with you guys. Okay, so we're going to do um, goddess cards, like, on each side just to kind of get a base idea of, like, who's who, Okay. Your personalities and what you're like and what you're about. So thank you, Strad. I pray that you would lead and guide us in this reading. Show us what we need to see. Tell us what we need to hear. Help me channel the messages that are necessary for Taurus to hear today. All right. So on side A, what do we have, Spirit? Overall energy on side A. This is kind of, and it also shows like pictures of these girls too. We have, I don't know how to pronounce her name, Kaiyu Yin, goddess of compassion. Okay, so we have Asian. So it shows ethnicity, it shows skin color, eye color, hair color. Um, so it kind of is an extra confirmation if you identify with the ethnicity or the skin color, hair color, or eye color, or whatever. Okay, so possibly Asian. Um, we also have uh, Mama Kocha, which is the water goddess. Okay, so um, dark skin, dark eyes, dark hair. Um, possibly this is a water sign. Okay, and that's how I see that. It's kind of like the um, the uh, Queen of Cups. That's how I see this card as the Queen of Cups. Okay, so water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, possibly. Um, but this person is very compassionate. Also, the Queen of Cups, she embodies compassion, um, nurturing. So this person person is very nurturing, very compassionate, very giving, very um, maternal, okay? We also have Persephone, inexperience. So maybe this person is younger than you, okay? Or you're younger than your person. Um, that's kind of how I'm seeing that card. It's like one person is older by a few years than the other person okay so if you're the younger person maybe this is your side and maybe you identify with this water energy maybe you have water in your chart if you're a taurus and you identify this side don't worry about the water signs um you could just be a very compassionate and giving person tauruses usually are okay tell me more about this person please the past Ooh, the past and then we have beauty all right, so this person's very beautiful inside and out, but definitely has, you know, a nice face, nice figure, um, very beautiful and like easy to look at, okay? This person definitely could have a lot of knowledge. We also have African-American descent, we have Asian, um, and then we have blonde hair, blue eyes as well, brown hair, hazel eyes, okay? But the past, this card is interesting, this past card, okay? Because this kind of represents like, in, a, in one reading that I did, it was kind of, 
one side got the future and one side got the past. And it was really strange because it was almost like as one person saw this relationship or this connection as their future and one person saw this connection as their past. And so both people were seeing this connection on a totally different level. Okay, so we'll see what comes out on um, on the other side. You know, the other thing about the past uh, is definitely like this person could be dealing with the past and dealing with past issues right now and like really stuck in old patterns or dealing with past relationships or just kind of struggling to come out of a past situation. And that's kind of how I'm feeling about that part for this reading in particular. So let's check out the other side. What's going on? Who is this person here? We have Gaia, Earth. Okay, so Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy on this side. Um, she's also, you know, Gaia. She's Earth. She's the creator. She's um, the symbol of the Empress, right? She's the, she creates things. She births things. We have I don't know how to pronounce this. Ayani, adaptability. So this person's very adaptable. I'm seeing green coming out on this side very heavily here. So definitely this could be Taurus over on this side. Okay. Seeing some blues and reds on this side. What else for this side? So this person's very adaptable. This person I feel like is very in tune with the earth. Very earthy vibe. Um, loves earthy things, colors. Um, being out in nature, you know, definitely embodies that Empress vibe. This person could also be a mother, okay, on this side. We have Ma'at, goddess of truth. So African American. We have Isis. This could possibly be Native American as well. Um, Isis, rebirth, so Egyptian here. And then we have Oh, wow. <laughs> we have Demeter, the goddess of, um, you know, the nurturer. So, yeah, Gaia Earth and the nurturer. I mean, definitely this looks like um, this person on this side could definitely be a mother. I'm seeing that really, really heavily here, especially with this great goddess, Sacred Unity. Look at that. This great goddess card is, you know, the, the goddess of all goddesses. Um, this is the divine, the connection to the divine, the connection to the sacred. And I feel like this person has a very powerful connection to the earth, very powerful connection to the divine. Um, also has this rebirth card, so has gone through some kind of rebirth in their life. But also I'm seeing the word birth, okay? And this great goddess with the Gaia and the rebirth, I'm feeling like this person um, is a mom. If you're not a mom and you identify with that side, the side, then just, that's okay. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay. Um, but we also with that nurturer card, absolutely. All right. So let's get a few cards. So these are going to represent the connection. These words here. Okay. So tell me about this connection spirit. Okay. Friendship, empathy. Hmm. So maybe you guys are just friends at the moment. You guys have a lot of uh, love and care for one another. Judgment, okay? I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Someone is judging their um, the other person or themselves harshly right now. We have imagination, envy, and love. Wow, interesting. And there's empathy again. Okay, so I feel like this is very interesting because we have death as well. But I put I put the death card on the same um, uh, same row as the rebirth card. So it's almost like this person has had some type of rebirth from envy to love. This person has gone through um, a transformation, or maybe this relationship has gone through a transformation where at one point it was very toxic and now it's had some kind of rebirth here or one person has had a rebirth and is now embracing love over envy or love over judgment but i feel like at one point there was maybe some harsh judgment on each other or harsh judgment on um 
yourself, okay? This imagination card is interesting. Why is imagination here? There's that friendship card, and we have honesty as well, okay? So honesty, imagination, and friendship. I do feel like this is and humor. I feel like there's somebody here who's imagining this relationship as something more than what it is right now. Um, there's somebody who, like, I think I feel like for a lot of you, you're at a very a friendship stage. I feel like somebody's gone through some kind of big transformation where they've gone from judgment and envy to love. They've gone through a rebirth, and now um, they're in a place where you know they see this connection as more than a friendship and they want to be honest about it okay but they like visualize it as more than what it is and i'm seeing that all right so let's get some tarot cards out here see what's really going on all right tell me what's going on with side a please spirit once again the shuffle I feel like I'm the only tarot card reader that like can't shuffle properly. <laughs> it's just not something I've practiced over the years. I'm like the cards that want to come out will come out. <sighs> Interesting. All right. Okay. So interesting thing is um, we've got two cards coming out with, you know, Probably the two energies of the deck that I'm not the biggest fan of. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, right? I mean, when these two cards come out, you're like, uh-oh, <laughs> you know? Um, but then we have this Four of Swords card that came out right after that, okay? So maybe this person at one point was somebody who was very selfish. Somebody who lied, cheated, snuck around, ran from the connection, whatever have you. But this person, it looks like, has taken some time out or is taking some time out um, to kind of come back to themselves and really, like, it's almost like this rebirth energy of, you know what, I've been in this energy. Um, I placed this right next to the judgment cards and it's right above the envy card as well. So it's like, I've, I've been in this energy. I've done you know, treating people like this. I'm done feeling like this. I'm done judging myself harshly, running from connections. I'm done lying to myself and lying to others. I'm ready to, you know, go within and do some healing and really come out on the other side. Okay, tell me more about side A, please. I feel like we have the hangman in reverse. Three of Wands and the Eight of Wands in reverse. For some reason, there's been blocked communication between this person and the other. Okay, but they're coming out of a stuck place, and there's something they've been waiting for. They've been—I feel like they've been waiting for communication from this other person, um, and they're coming out of a very stuck place where they have felt trapped in the past. Um, but they're still waiting on this communication with this other person. And it's not coming. There's delayed communication or blocked communication right now. Okay. What else? It's like three cards come out at a time. That's so crazy. The Magician in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse with the Six of Wands. Hmm. I do feel like this person has had a broken heart. Like, something in the past broke their heart in a very big way. Um... And maybe they've been struggling to manifest love in their life, okay? But something is coming for them that's very victorious. Like, they have a lot of success headed toward them, towards them, or they're heading towards success, okay? Either in love or just in life in general. But definitely could have been dealing with somebody who was manipulative, or they were manipulative in some way. Interesting. All right, tell me more about the Magician in Reverse and the Three of Swords in Reverse. I feel like they are going through some kind of healing right now and coming out of some pretty rough energy. Yeah, the Devil coming out. OK, 
okay? Releasing themselves from toxic energy. But then we have the Ten of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom. Look, look at that. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, okay? Releasing themselves from toxic energy. Maybe this person um, struggled with toxic energy in the past. Maybe they struggled with manipulation or um, lying to others or lying, cheating, stealing, what have you. Um, but it was coming from a place of brokenness, okay? And I feel like they're coming out of that energy and healing that. And they're headed towards this place of success um, where maybe they've spent some time on their own and really marching towards a better place in their life, a more stable place in their life, okay? So I do feel a, like a rebirth energy on this side too. You know, this thought crossed my mind that like, maybe this is just one whole person. Maybe if you identify with both of these people, maybe this is you. Maybe this is like the past you and then the present you and your like relationship to yourself and how things have evolved and changed for you. Um, this is very interesting. Yeah, because there has been some kind of rebirth here and coming out of a very stuck, toxic place coming into success and stability um, and getting over some toxic energy and releasing those chains, okay? And coming to this place, I mean, you've got the great goddess and the Gaia card, Isis, rebirth, and that's some powerful energy, right? Okay, so for those of you who that resonates for, just stick with that, okay? And um, maybe this is a reading just, just for you. And it's not about anybody else. This is your relationship with yourself. Very interesting. Okay. All right. Overall energy on this side, please, Spirit. Because I'm seeing a massive transformation from somebody who was very broken to somebody who's very successful and stable and, um, you know, uh, kind of in the limelight and being looked at as somebody who's got it together. Okay, overall energy for the side phase spirit. Nine of cups and the wheel, wow, wow. So this is about, you know, taking care of those karmic situations, karmic patterns and overcoming um, stuck patterns that have kept you in vicious cycles and now it's like the wheel is turning the karma has been dealt with and now you're coming out on this other side where wishes are being fulfilled where you're starting to see the things that you've manifested or wanting to manifest come to reality okay because that's you know you've dealt with the karma that is needed in the past you've overcome something and you've released something, okay? And now it's like the karmic wheel is turning. The blessings are about to come in and the manifestations, it's like you're aligning yourself with a very powerful manifestation energy because you're aligning yourself with truth. You're aligning yourself with love. Like, look at this. I'm starting to feel more and more and more that this is you. This is all you. Truth and love, you're aligning yourself. Because on one hand, we have this envy card, and then we have the death card, and then love. It's like rebirth, and then rebirth right here. Right? Rebirth and love. Aligning yourself with truth, aligning yourself with love, aligning yourself with this divine energy. Going through a massive, you know, fully being completely like honest with yourself, finally. Really, really finding the truth and finding that place of, of truth within inside yourself as well. All right, tell me more. Let's see. For some of you, if this is still a love reading, then, you know, go for it. But I feel like this is more and more and more. This is like turning into a reading just about you. Interesting. Okay. I feel like we got the three of wands, the world, the eight of cups, the moon, and the four of pentacles. 
I feel like you've walked away from some type of illusion that you've held on to for a long time. And like, you're done waiting and watching for something. You're done waiting for something. It's like you've waited for it long enough and now it's like you're coming and taking a hold of it, okay? Something you, you struggled to release for a very long time and it was kind of part of your shadow work, part of the inner work that needed to be done. You've like, you're releasing it and you're walking away from it. And that in turn is changing this. It, it's like bringing you to the completion of a chapter for you. Now you have the wheel and the world here. Those two cards to me, when they come out and kind of together, it shows me that you're, you're completing some kind of major cycle in your life. It's, it's a huge rebirth energy. Okay. What else? Page of Pentacles. Yeah. New opportunities coming towards you. I saw the Ten of Pentacles again. Yep, there it is with the Six of Swords here. I feel like you are... You may even literally be moving, okay, away from where you're at. Um, or just even figuratively moving away from where you were energetically. But I'm seeing a new opportunities come in for you. And I'm seeing like new opportunities to help your stability, your finances. Um, it could be a house, a car, a job opportunity, like whatever. But new opportunities are coming in for you that are going to help you find this stability. I mean, this Ten of Pentacles keeps coming out. Okay. So I feel like it's... You're definitely moving into a really, really amazing time in your life. It's it's a time I feel like that you've always dreamed of, okay? You've always dreamed of being here. Wow, look at this. We've got the Hierophant in reverse, but we got the Fool here. So some of you are coming out of a place where it's like you're done living in a box world, okay? Like you're done living in a... Like everything has to be just so. You're coming outside of the box. You're not going to deal with traditions and must do's and should do's and could and like, you know, maybe you possibly grew up Catholic or Christian or something like that. Or you just grew up in a way of like everything has to be a certain way and you're not allowed to go outside that box. But I feel like you're starting to go outside that box. We got this fool card here, which to me is like freedom. Okay, freedom and taking this leap of faith and, you know, moving out of this boxed energy. Okay, so yeah, sorry about the interruption. Um, I'm pretty fully convinced that this is your reading, <laughs> like fully your reading. Um, I feel like you're coming into a place where you know your destiny, you know your worth, and you know like what you want in your life and what you don't. Okay, you may have come out of a time where you were very weak, like struggling to fight the battle maybe you were going through a really tough battle and i feel like you've come out on the other side look at this okay queen of pentacles that's your energy taurus capricorn virgo um and then we've got the empress here so i feel like yeah you're definitely coming out of a time where you're you've been in a place where you felt less than worthy of what you deserve but now i, I feel like you're seeing it and you're starting to learn the le you're, you're learning the lessons you're coming out on the other side you're, you're closing out a chapter and it's really beautiful and you're coming into a place of like serious abundance okay um i kind of want to do these life purpose cards because normally i would do my love oracle cards at this point but um i really feel like this is about you this is your journey okay what is uh taurus's life path energy I feel like you're coming into your destiny here. We have counseling. You heal with kind words, wise advice, and empathetic ear. Some of you are, you know, counselors at heart. You're meant to be here to help people, give them wise advice and counsel. Okay, maybe it's not in a typical, like, counseling setting. But it could be just as a friend or in a different um, way. Some of you are spiritual teachers. You heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars, and you're into 
Some of you are into crystals, okay? Maybe you have crystal collections or you've started collecting crystals because you understand their healing powers now. Yeah, look at that, healer. You have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. Look at that. Spiritual healers, spiritual teachers. We have writing. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. So some of you are writers or you are meant to start writing, write a book or something like that. And then we have artists. Engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life. Many of you are creatives, meant to do your art on a you know, um, professional level. We also have let go. Interesting. And time to decide with light and love. Wow. There's something you need to walk away from, okay? Or maybe you already have. You've already walked away from the situation in order to resolve it. Let go. You've made some kind of decision based on your heart's true desires. Okay? And you're here to bring light and love into this world. Your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love into this world. Wow. That's beautiful. Very powerful energy. You guys have really come out on the other side and I see that. Okay? So anyways, I hope that reading helps you guys in some ways. I'm sorry it wasn't like the love reading. This is definitely your love reading for yourself. Okay? Um... Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on your notifications. Uh, give me a comment. Leave me a comment. Turn on that like button. Um, and check out all of my information if you want to schedule a reading. Um, check out my Patreon or my social media. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.